Welcome back, folks. Today, um, I will not be streaming the uh, the Qualifier 2. I made it on Qualifier 1. As you guys know, I kind of left in first place, but I slid down like I kind of figured uh, to a limp. Um, but I won't be streaming. Rex will be streaming, so I'll leave his limp link down in the comments for you guys. Uh, so if you want to watch him, but... The setups for Qualifier 2, as I always make a guide for Qualifier 2, if you guys can't watch me stream it, it is, uh, the setups are right over here. Now, this is, there's a couple interesting ones. This qualifier is going to be different than the ones in the past, and the scores are going to be much higher, I believe, anyway. Um, especially for people that see this, because there's kind of a new thing to this this year. But anyway, crankbait on a Zeus with a Kraken. Normally I would use a spod, but because it's a crankbait, crankbait and topwaters, I don't really use a spod reel. So um, go with the Kraken. And you can also put this crankbait on as well if you have it. Um, I would lean towards the Star Spangled Banner, uh, Star Spangled uh, crankbait earlier and go to this one in the middle. Um, with that being said, though, here are the other setups. This setup, you don't really need. You can pause these if you want to get really in-depth with them. Um, I wouldn't worry about this one too much, and I will explain why here in a minute. And also this one, and it is critical that you use the uh, long spell launcher. Uh, otherwise, it will not cast far enough. And then uh, over here, uh, bottom rod with a 5-0. You could actually use a 4-0 as well in the beginning uh, and then move to a bigger hook later. Uh, but you'll have to play with these and find out uh, what works for you. So spot one here at Qualifier 2. You want to come to the boat dock and just cast straight out. And I will try. I'm going to show you the marks right now so that you can actually go ahead and um, put them in right now. Also, uh, the time is not what it used to be on Uniques. Uh, you can catch Uniques every 32 minutes now, so in trophies. In each spot, here's a stand marker for the other one. And here is the marker for this one. Um, last year it was 45 minutes for these guys. Uh, and this year it is now 30 minute, 32 minutes. It seems like 32, 32 and a half minutes. Um, and these are the marks. So if you want, you can pause them and put them in. And you will notice there is no musky. And we'll talk about that in a little bit here. But uh, so spot one or the spot first spot I'm using is right here. And later on, I will show you my bag that I did. I actually had an hour left of my time, and I still would have easily qualified last year. I think score is going to be a lot higher. I think you're going to need higher than even my bag was because mine was not a full run. Um, so I still had an hour of my run left. Um, and then right here, or uh, for the second spot, run over this shoreline at the concrete dark and you're going to run down here so the reason is guys 12 unique catfish are possible now is somebody getting 12 probably not but they are possible i think anywhere from if you can get five to eight unique catfish you're going to be sitting good or have a chance and right over here uh you cast out to here this is the second spot if you saw it on the thing, I'll try to pull it up really quick for you. And also, uh, then for the uh, second or the third spot, you're going to want to go to the concrete dock. And in each spot, there's one unique and one and two trophies, guys. Uh, and then right out here. Now this spot is a little interesting because if you want, um, I will show you the mark for this as well. Um, but I have to actually re-mark these. I'm going to mark them right here as we are now. Um, but there is one unique and two trophies every spot. 32 minutes, like I said. Um, but uh, this is the mark for the bottom rod. If you do want to use the bottom rod right here. 
And then for the last two spots, if you these are the ones that spots you want to focus on. And then if you have extra, there is another unique. If you use the float rod at Sandy Cape, that one mark that I showed you guys out in the middle, um, right behind this buoy, right out there. Uh, and so it's it's quite a cast. I think it's 350 feet or so. And you can do it at 98 inches, or you can just go all the way down. So for our metric friends, 250 to 500. It is a slow spot, but there is a third unique in the rotation here. And you could, if you had an absolute perfect run, get through four rotations and get 12. Is that really going to happen? Probably not. I'm guessing... Whoever wins this will have eight unique cats. I think the score may get into the mid-700s. I'm not sure. Somebody's going to get 700, though. This is going to be a lot higher than it was last year, I think, in a lot of ways. Um, that or we just figured out a really good way to do this. And then also for uh, the last spot uh, back at the boat dock, the spot that normally is really good, not as good in this weather pattern, but right over there on that boat dock. Now, these overlap. Um, so if you get a uni from that one on the on spot, the second spot I showed, or the third spot, these uniques overlap, but the trophies don't. And the boat dock overlaps. So if you catch one with a crankbait right here, and you catch it far out, you can't get a unique here. So you can if you get to catch it really short in on your crankbait. You can still catch it over there, but the trophies don't overlap. So just keep that in mind, folks. I know for some of you new to the tournaments, that's a little confusing. But for people uh, that have done these a little bit, watch the channel, watch us quite a bit. Pretty straightforward. Uh, but you could definitely get a lot. So on our run, you could, uh, could get 15 trophy or uniques in the two hours pretty easily. I even had, I had 13, and I still had an hour left to fish in mine. Um, so at the very end, you will see my bag that I did have. But like I said, I did have an hour left in it, and I had to uh, quit that run to make this video quick before it, so it gets out before you guys do the qualifier. But this is why I kind of wait to do the guides until I really know what's going on, because this is a big help. Um, and there could be some really good scores. I think for you guys that are metric, um, I think at least three, there's going to be somebody with at least three 17 kilograms uh, in it, or 700 pounds, and I think the cutoff may be around, if, if a lot of people know how to do this this year, 630 or 285 might be the cutoff i don't know for sure it's hard to predict these things um but the muskies are not even worth it because a uni muskie can be smaller than a trophy blue cat and you're going to get a lot of blue cats while doing this if you get enough practice in on this if you just go in all blank assuming you're going to do really good uh, you might not do as well with all these you want to do a few practice runs so anyway folks you guys have an amazing day, and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.